Yo, what up guys? Magic IQ here. I hope you guys had an amazing time in the stream last night. We had a bunch of people coming by. We had almost over 25 to 30 viewers at like 2 a.m., which was like 70% of the Need for Speed Unbound category because I don't know why the category gets so low, but I don't know where you guys kept coming from. It was amazing. Had a great time. I almost didn't want to get off stream, but I got very tired, and I'm actually filming after stream right now, but we'll be live again today going crazy, so make sure you guys tap in over on the Twitch. We had a great time unlocking this car, tuning it, and testing it. This thing is an absolute beast, though, and this is the AMG GTR, one of the fastest GTRs in the class obviously there's the 71 gtr but that's really only a rapid transit king like that thing handles that track and any other top speed track but in terms of cornering i think this is the best gtr in the game for cornering if you guys haven't already make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe and let me know if you guys want me to put out the car i used to get this build as well i used the cla 45 tuned for a plus class as well as a tuned amg gt black series um as well tuned for a plus class so let me know if you guys want those builds as well to help you unlock this car you will have to do 20 playlists in a plus class in a mercedes benz in order to unlock this car but it is well worth your time trust me but let's get straight into it man so the 71 gtr is only really better on rapid transit and tracks with a lot of straightaways and top speed but this thing absolutely kills it everywhere else so we're actually ironically running the same motor as we run in the f40 which is the 404 brake horsepower three liter in line six and it's kind of ironic because this thing actually has some crazy swaps available to it you also have the 2.9 liter v8 out of the f40 as well so that's how you kind of know this car is a beast it even has the same v12 that is in the hakasuka as well these are the engine parts on this motor though we are completely maxed out everything is elite on this motor elite induction elite ecu elite fuel system elite exhaust and an elite root supercharger but we do have a super bottle of nitrous now i was testing two different builds i had a pro bottle with elite drift tires and super drift tires with a super bottle this is way more worth it it is way faster by about a second i got a 159 in the other build i got a 158 on this one and i can cut even more time off the super nitrous build was more efficient at putting the power down and the super drift tires really didn't make a difference from the elite drift tires so i just decided to stick with this setup as it was about a second or two faster I can probably get this build to go down into the 155s on blue collar and probably get around a 152 on getting high tonight. Even with the lack of top speed, I was able to put down a 54, which is very respectable. Now, this thing does have elite road suspension with those super drift tires. The brakes are pro and the clutch is super, which really helps us for when we have to switch into this build from like mixed tier races or anything like that. If we just wanted to do just blue collar and a mixed tier race or any other race application where you'd have to switch to this car, you'll be able to switch into fourth almost like you're launching in manual. You just click the shifting as fast as possible when the car launches if you have to launch in first and you'll get to fourth and that thing will just absolutely boom straight past everybody else. The six speed transmission is mandatory. The five speed will get you a lower pi rating but it is very much so not worth it as it does lose a ton of top speed and you need it to stick around the 183 mark that it is the 0 to 60 while we're here is a 2.9 and the quarter mile is a 10.2 and the horsepower numbers are 821 and the max torque is 777 this also has auxiliaries of both drift and grip nitrous oxes because we don't run anything else in this game we've always run nitrous drift and grip auxiliaries now for the handling we're running 30 percent drift on this car steering sensitivity is right in the middle and downforce is all the way to the right we also have trash control off and drift entry is gas or brake tap that is my preferred way to run things nowadays i don't use one or the other anymore i just use both because sometimes i want a gas tap sometimes i want a brake tap let me know if that works out better for you you guys as well i hope you guys enjoyed today's build video though let's aim for 50 likes as always i appreciate you guys i'll see you on the next one and i'm out peace